We have Jamie Giesberg joining us this morning from the Eden Foundation to talk about Head for the Hills back again 20 years this year. Yes, 20th anniversary of Head for the Hills. It's an honour to come in in this 20th year and help plan and make this event hopefully a great success. You've never been a part of this. No. What are no? <laughs> what are you expecting to see when it comes to Saturday? Because it's going to be an exciting day and it, and it brings together so many people from the area. I actually can't wait to get to Saturday because there's so much that goes into the pre-planning of events. Once we are on the day of, I'm excited to experience that joy and togetherness that I've been told happens at this event. Apparently the energy is just wonderful and people are really positive and happy to be there. So I can't wait to be there. And I'm glad to have you there too to MC. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, one of the things about this event is the fact that it is one of, if not the biggest event when it comes to fundraising for, for uh, the Eden Foundation. Talk to us a little bit about um, where that money that is raised from events like this goes towards Sure. So uh, if you're familiar with Eaton Healthcare Services, you know that it's kind of an umbrella of different organizations like Segway Career Options. We've got the Eden Mental Health Center. We have residential care services with different apartment buildings in our communities, Winkler and Steinbeck and Winnipeg, as well as Recovery of Hope Counseling Services. So the money that we raise throughout our entire year will go, will be granted out towards these separate organizations under the Eden name. So we're helping offset some of the costs of counseling services because uh, Recovery of Hope runs on a sliding fee scale. So if you're seeking counseling and you maybe don't have the means to afford a full session, we will offset that cost for you and pay the remainder. Uh, we're doing upgrades to some of our rooms at Ents Court in, uh, in Winkler, those apartment buildings. And it's pretty amazing to know the difference that it makes when you're healing and you're on a place where you, you just want to get better and heal. Your surroundings really make a big difference. If you're in a dingy old room, chances are you won't be in the best mental state. But if you have bright windows, a beautiful courtyard, it just aids aids you to heal a little bit more. And we have a kitchen upgrade that's happening in Steinbeck at Wilson Court as well. It's a commercial kitchen, which will uh, kind of allow the residents there to have community cooking time and meal times together, which will help people to uh, get ready to be back in the community again, where things like that happen. So there's a lot of different ways that the money is helping and uh, once we have all of those requests in, I'll be able to tell you more about what we have done this year. Which is awesome because it just shows the, um, like, like you said, the umbrella of what Eden Foundation covers, right? Now, when it comes to the day, what can we expect beginning first thing in the morning? All right, so registration begins at 8 a.m. at the Cripple Creek Music Festival site. And we like to get rolling, get on our bikes around 9 a.m. So it's pretty quick. We register you, give you your number because we like to keep track of everyone as they come by the rest stops. And uh, I'll make a, a quick safety speech because there are some things in in place that we want to make sure people follow, staying to the right of the road, that kind of thing. So yeah, we'll get rolling around 9 a.m. and then we just let you enjoy the ride. People start to come, you come back to the Cripple Creek uh, Music Festival site around noon. Uh, there are of course those who finish very quickly and they're speed racers and they're avid cyclists and, and others who really take their time and they kind of roll in around noon and then we'll have a delicious lunch prepared by the Crystal Spring Hutterite Colony and we'll give away some prizes as well which you will be emceeing we've got two brand new bikes to give away and that will be exciting so it's actually a really quick day like you'll have your afternoon and evening free but just to spend the morning together cycling having some great food and fellowship it's going to be great it will be it's happening this saturday again jamie thank you so much for dropping by and talking to us and good luck for this saturday great to be here thank you